All right, if you are looking for a fun, arthritis-friendly workout that's low impact, but it's going to be great for those to build stronger muscles and stronger joints. So all you're going to need is one washcloth. You're going to fold it in half, fold it in half again so you have this nice little square. Find a slippery surface, some tile floor, hardwood floor, but make sure you have shoes on so we're not sliding around when we're using this washcloth. My name is Alyssa, I'm a doctor of physical therapy and an arthritis specialist, and I'm gonna take you through these next 15 minutes for this workout that's gonna be paced at 120 beats per minute. So you're gonna hear this beep, and I want you to see if you can follow along with that and follow along with me. All right, so go ahead, put your washcloth on the ground. If at any reason you need something to hang on to for support, grab a kitchen counter, grab a chair, grab something if you need to steady yourself because we are really challenging that single leg strength and balance. All right, here we go. Okay, so I want you to hear that beat. I want you to put the washcloth right under your right foot. Now you're gonna stick with the beat. We're gonna slide side to side first. Here we go. Slide, slide, slide. Hear that beat, keep going. Small bend in the knee. And if you wanna take this a step further, add in the arms. Reach and step, reach and step. Start to feel that leg fatigue out a little bit. And now we're going forward in three, two, one, forward, forward, forward. Stay on the beat, that's part of it. You're thinking as you're moving. You can add in the opposite arm into a punch. And now you're gonna go backwards. Three, two, one, back, 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 back. Do whatever feels good with the arms, just keep them moving. Feel that heart rate climbing up. Keep it going. Five, four, three, two. Put them all together. Forward, side, back. Forward, side, back. Forward, side, back. Start slow and then join on in. Feel that hip that you're standing on, really fatigue out. And stay with that beat. Five, four, three, two, and one. Shake out that leg that you were just standing on. We're gonna switch it over. And now you're going to do the same thing. We're gonna start out to this side. Here we go, slide, slide. Try to keep the pressure on your toe that's on the washcloth so it stays on your foot. Slight bend in the knee, nothing major. Again, do whatever feels good with the arms. You can reach forward. This side fatigues out a little bit easier. And forward in three, two, one, forward. Forward, you're just sliding forward. Add in those arms, whatever feels good to you. Keep it moving. This metronome keeps us on pace, pushes you maybe even a little bit. All right, guys, we are going backwards. In three, two, one, take it back. Back, 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 back. Start to feel that leg fatigue out a little bit right in that hip. And we're throwing it all together. Three, two, one, here we go. Forward, side, back, meeting in the middle every time. Forward, side, back. Rest as you need to, but we're trying to push it all the way through. If you lose your balance, that's okay. Just grab it and join back in. All right, guys, we got two more times all the way around. Last one, and shake it out. 
All right, now we're going back to that other side. And what you're going to do now is you're going to slide it out and then bring it back in. Slide it out, bring it back in. Slide it out, bring it back in. I want you to slide it out till you feel a little pressure on that inner thigh. Come back in. Slide it out, come back in. And now we're going to stay with that metronome and we're going to go out to the side, rejoin that rhythm. Three, two, here we go. Find that rhythm, small bend in the leg. Again, do whatever feels good with you, with the arms. Five, four, three, two, and one other side. And out and in, out and in, out. Focus on pulling back in with that leg that you're standing on. Out and in, out and in. Pull in with that inner thigh, inner thigh, pull in. You don't have to go out very far. Rejoin that metronome, we're going out to the side in two. Last one, here we go, find it. Add that arm, whatever feels, just get it moving. You can even add in the opposite one. Feel that burn, five, three, two, and one, drop the washcloth. We are going, just marching. Keep that beat. Move it side to side. Keep the beat, your foot taps every time. Take some coordination and that is purposeful. We wanna be able to think as we move. Keeps us on a consistent base. Okay, now, stepping forwards and back. Forwards and back. Keep on pace. Three, two, and last one. Now, that washcloth's right under your right foot again. We're going to do a half circle. You're coming all the way out, all the way back in. This one's challenging your balance. You're making that half circle, three, two, and last one, switch, here we go. So you can stay on every other beat, because I want you to think about adding just a little bit of speed to this, because that's what's challenging those muscles too. five, three, two, and one. Shake them out, back to that march. Find that beat again. To make this harder, add opposite arm, opposite leg. Squeeze those core muscles. You can start out slow, then find the beat. 
squeeze those core muscles, tuck your tailbone underneath, and keep going. Challenge yourself to keep up with the beat. We're off. If you get off, that's okay. Just keep it moving. Start out slow. And sometimes it's easier if you just march. Find that beat. Add the arms. Nice work. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, last thing we're gonna do, you're gonna grab that washcloth, stand on that left leg first, wash the floor with that backwards again. You can add in that same arm going forwards. Wash that floor, keep that base. Stay with the rhythm, five, four, three, two, and switch, same thing. Start going with the backwards, get the rhythm, add the arm, extend both, and keep going. Ten. Four. Three. Two. And one. All right, we're losing the beat. And now we're just gonna take it slow. Just side to side. You should really feel those hips burning in a good way. So you're just slowing it down, stepping side to side. And now what you can do is you can either grab a seat around you. I'm gonna show you with one of these ottomans here. But one thing to stretch these hips out is you can sit in a chair and you can bring one leg up here and just kind of let it fall down. If this is too hard of a position, start down low Try to bring it up as high as you can, and then let that fall down. If you're having trouble feeling that, one thing you can also do is hug your leg, bring it up and hug it as close to you as you can, and you should start to feel it right down in that hip area. And then once you have that, you can switch to the other side. So you can go up to that figure four, bend your leg up, if you can tolerate that position, you can also hug your leg, feel that. You can do this on a bed, on a couch too. Feel that stretch. Now, strong hips are the key to essentially a lot of different types of arthritis. And so if we can get stronger, stable hips, we help our bodies move so much better. So if you liked this video, go ahead and click that red subscribe button below, but also shoot me a comment down below. Let me know how it went for you. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching again. My name is Alyssa with Keep the Adventure Alive, and we are here to do just that. Keep your arthritis adventure alive.